Guys, Boxing Gossip on location. Hope everyone's doing well. Just a very, very quick video following up from the recent Dillian White versus Ian Lewis in heavyweight matchup for the British Championship. Um, Don Charles correctly pulls Ian Lewis in out of the bout after 10 completed rounds. Dillian White finally gets the Lonsdale belt, British heavyweight champion. And you'd have to say Dillian White won in a fairly sound manner. I had Ian Lewison taking the first round. Lewison came out very strong, very aggressive. From there on in, I kind of had Dillian White um, really winning the fight, pretty much scoring him the majority of rounds 2 through to 10. Um, fundamentally, I wasn't overly impressed with Dillian White's work in there tonight, despite the fact that I think he was by far the better fighter. Uh, Lewison actually looked quite smooth in there. I was actually fairly impressed with what I saw from Ian Lewison. I appreciate he's a guy possibly in the autumn of his career. I appreciate he's a guy who's... Um, in pretty horrendous shape. I mean, even in fight night tonight, he was best part of 20 stone. Um, but having said that, he actually showed some decent skills in there. He showed some decent attributes. And I thought that he'd have the propensity to give Dillian White a lot more problems if he turned up in better shape. Uh, he was landing some decent punches. And I thought his ability to slip the jab, um, bob and weave a bit, and then throw his own work was actually fairly decent. Um, White very much stuck to the game plan of boxing smart early on. He didn't want to get involved into too much of a scrap and tried to cover up and survive the early storm, which is what I predicted in my um, pre-fight prediction video. He did that well, and then towards the later end, uh, sorry, the middle parts of the fight, uh, Lewison started to flag, and that's when Dillian White started to pour it on a bit more. Dillian's work to the body was decent, um, and he was, you know, he was more aggressively minded. Um, there was some decent trading from the outside, some decent trading inside the pocket. And really, um, Dillian White started to pull away in the middle rounds. Um, Ian Lewis had a bit of a resurgence going into round nine, I think it was, where he landed a few decent shots on Dillian White. Um, but really, you kind of had the impression from the mid rounds onwards that it was Dillian White's fight to lose. Um, in the 10th round, Dillian landed a big punch, possibly broke the nose of Ian Lewison. Ian Lewison's eye was a bit closed and it was all getting a bit one-sided. Um, I kind of had the idea that Don Charles may pull Ian Lewison out. You kind of sensed that Ian Lewison felt like he was at the end of the road and had probably lost his belief that he was going to win. Um, Don Charles pulls it out and Dillian White um, goes on to take the belt after 10 rounds. So credit to Dillian White for becoming British world champion. I've got to say, British world champion, British heavyweight champion even. I've got to say, um, in his recent fights... Dillian White's done well against Dave Allen. He's done well against Ian Lewison. He hasn't exactly looked a class above. He's been beating these guys, but he's been beating them um, fully stretched as far as I'm concerned. And you kind of got the impression that on both occasions, Dave Allen and Ian Lewison could have actually given him quite a few problems if they turned up with proper training camps and if they turned up having had uh, a few more weeks notice. So it's kind of interesting. He's probably learning a lot from these fights. He's gaining experience. Um, previously, White someone who hadn't really gone rounds in his career, and he's getting that under his belt now, which is fantastic. Um, I guess the, the question is, as he continues to step up in class, are there guys out there who are going to give him more problems, guys who can establish their own jabs, guys who are a bit more mobile, guys who turn up uh, you know, like fully conditioned athletes? And I guess that's the, the interesting question, because... Um, certainly the power that was synonymous with Dillian White throughout the early stages of his career it seemed a little bit lacking as he stepped up to the Dave Allens and Ian Lewisons. I mean, granted he won by stoppage tonight, but there weren't too many of us out there who thought Lewison would go 10 rounds. Um, so it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see where they take him next. Uh, Derek Chisora, I guess, is another gradual step up and seems to be the logical choice given the, the history between the two men. As for Ian Lewison, um, a frustrating guy and a frustrating career, a bit of a bizarre career. He's blatantly got some talent uh, and he could be a threat had he, I don't know, taken things a bit more seriously a few years ago. So um, it's a bit odd, but I guess you do get characters like that in the sport from time to time. And um, Based on what I saw in the ring tonight, Ian Lewison potentially could have a role to play in the heavyweight division and could potentially be involved in some... Um, decent fights if he managed to cut a few pounds and take the sport a bit more seriously. But let's see where Dillian White goes on from here. Um, he's worked on his boxing, he's improved his boxing, he's improved his conditioning, which was a main concern for me. And he does a lot of things in there well. Um, he's still a little bit green technically in terms of the way he constructs his punches. And 
it will just be interesting as he continues to step up in level. Maybe a Derek Chisora is a natural fight. You'd make White a strong favourite over Chisora, but Chisora is maybe one level above a Lewison and a Dave Allen at the minute. So that's a logical fight. I think beyond Derek Chisora, if he starts coming up against slip, uh, sorry, slick, slippery boxers, that's the type that could potentially cause him a bit more trouble. But, you know, let's say um, British heavyweight champion and uh, fair play to him. Guys, uh, leave your comments in the section below. Let me know your thoughts on this fight. How high do you see Dillian White's potential upside? Have you got interest in seeing Ian Lewis again? Uh, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up button. Appreciate it.